So today I'm going to assemble this simulated Nixie tube digital clock. All the individual segments here are simulated to make it look like a Nixie. A Nixie tube was a vacuum tube which was actually had neon gas in it. Each of the numerals or letters that the tube was displaying were actually formed iron wires and they were energized individually to allow you to see the ionization around them and that showed you the digit that you were looking at illuminated in ionized neon gas so now this is a uh, lucite panel it's covered with uh, protective plastic on both sides this side over here is laser etched and it has the numeral so you don't have the gas but all of these little pieces down here are LEDs underneath. When you illuminate the edge of a piece of lucite, there's nothing to really obstruct the um, light as it passes through. It works the same as laser fiber that's used for fiber communication. The light, unless it reaches something or encounters something to disturb the light, it just continues to pass through. And since this has a digit that's been etched with a laser on one side, whenever that light passes through it from the LED below it, it's going to catch that light and then it just says here's what this looks like so you get it illuminated so what I'm doing is using a an exacto blade really small fine super sharp blade just using it instead of a thumbnail because the thumbnails are rounded kinda if you look at it under a microscope you don't have anything to really catch the plastic sheet which is attached or applied to the face of the panel. So I'm getting that edge pulled up enough and you can't of course touch the blade against the face of the LCD or the um, lucite plastic. If you do that you leave a mark on it. That makes it catch light and then it's going to wreck the visual image of what you're trying to display. So I'm keeping the little pieces of plastic dust off the edge and lifting this little piece of protective plastic. So you got to have uh, pretty good vision. Of course we get nothing else going on in here other than noise that the neighbors are creating. They chose today to take a tree down or trim it. Another neighbor decides he's going to get the big old mower out and run around the yard. Chainsaw. All this stuff in the background here to keep you entertained. So we're getting this thing kind of peeled up on the corner. So we're going to very carefully catch the very tip. Ah, see there? We're getting that plastic so that I can get a hold of it. Now, pull it off. And this is the side that does not have anything etched on it. So we take this, this thing, protective piece, throw it away. Now this side has, it's the zero. So of course, this piece of protective plastic coating 
has to be attached to that centerpiece. Otherwise, you'd run the risk of scratching something, trying to get it to peel up. So it's attached at the very bottom of that, oh, of that circle representing the inside of the zero digit. Now this one's going to be a lot easier for some reason. These pieces of plastic that are attached are just so much easier on some corners than others. Let's get him up there a little bit more. That's it. Now, we're going to run this down the side because you don't want to start at the... You get it, there's a little piece that's attached at the very bottom. We want it to stay attached and it's going to peel that center out for us like this. So now, we get rid of that. There's our zero. And we'll put that in there. can't have any slobbers if you're going to blow the dust off and you really shouldn't be blowing it off okay we make sure which side's got the etch face oh there's the etch so the etch has to go to the back side that way the digit displays correctly now this is the seconds and it's progressing through each second. This represents the whole minute. So that's going to change one at a time as this counts up and goes through. See here, now we got the zero. Alrighty, then we're going to go to the one, which I'm going to do right now, right behind it. So you get the idea. There's 60 of these pieces. And the first 10 that I did in this position over here took a long time. This 10 also took just as much time as that. And now I'm going to complete the minutes over here. We're going to go get this one and I'm going to let you go now. I'm going to finish doing this and get through all the rest of these without screwing up anything, not scratching anything, not smudging anything, not blowing slobbers on it, and getting all the little segments, all 60 of them, into the positions that they belong in. Then we'll run this whole thing through its test, which is going to illuminate every LED under each position. And it'll count all of these digits from 0 through 9 simultaneously. Then we'll set the clock. And we'll see what it looks like when we get finished. So, Well, here we are. 59 of these little plastic nightmares and come down to the last of it then we're going to get into some more fun and of course this one here is going to be a little difficult it's always the last one so something has to be a little more difficult kind of make you glad you got done with it when you get to it and can't have that going in the background YouTube go nuts so there's that and now get this one all done The last one. Let's get this in there. Okay. We're getting there. So, I didn't keep track of the actual time that all this took. 
Get that little scalpel out of the way. Make sure we haven't got little smudges on the edge. And there's nine. Ready to go in position. Nine goes right in here. Now let's get you out here where you can see something. Nine goes here. Now, we'll cap all that off. Keep these from, if something gets jostled, we don't want everything coming out of there. So we use a little piece of nice little teak wood on top. And some screws to hold it in place. So we drop one of these in there, and one of these back there. Get started with this. Oh, come on. There you go. Yeah. And another couple screws, and we're going to be ready to go into fun mode here. More fun. The last two hours and ten minutes, I guess, was pretty fun. Yeah, finish getting the screws down. Make sure everybody's seated in there good. All nice and snuggy. Alrighty. Now. <clears throat> I guess next is to get out the little instruction deal. <clears throat> so, let's see which one of these is the mode button. There's six sets of number sheets, 60 pieces total. Please protect remove the protective film on the front and back surfaces first and avoid scratching the digital slice if dust can be wiped gently with glass claw. So there we are installing the covers did that display modes so <clears throat> mode one is custom color mode two is rainbow shading mode Three is breathing mode. What that is, I don't know. River mode? No idea about that. Dynamic? Yeah, maybe that makes some sense. Setting digit animation. And seven is test mode. So let's go into... Okay. And... So where's all the, the four buttons on the back? You're looking at the back side. So I don't know what this is all about, but we'll start punching buttons and see what the heck happens here. Oh, this business here. Look at this business. Ain't that fun? So, I don't think I want that thing flashing. And this runs rapid count for testing. I'll give you close off the back of it so you can see how it looks. Light coming through, it really doesn't let you see anything. But that's running through the digits. Let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, 
And now we're back to 11.30 and 59, so we got to set the time. We'll get the time set, and we'll come back and see how that all looks once we get everything going.